Hi everyone, I'm getting ready to kick off my second week of order packing from the mini rainbow extravaganza and I spent the weekend cleaning up and organizing and putting supply orders away etc so it's all nice and clean and beautiful and I can think much more clearly now and I thought maybe you'd like just a quick tour. So I'm backing up a little bit. This is how I come in the door. I have my fragrance oil and essential oils shelf here and then I have my curing racks here I have three but it's pretty slim right now and over here are all the soaps that are curing for the next release which is going to be a beach summer theme so we have just a lot going on super pretty I love them now I will let you in <laughs> Oh goodness gracious, I forgot to cut these soaps. I plain forgot. We cut, we well what we did is we split the loaves and then we cut one loaf, which we usually do, and then we put them on the shelf so that I could take pictures because I like to take loaf pictures, you know, with some cut bars on the top. Completely forgot, but it's been raining so much this spring in Missouri and I just got to my pictures last week. So now I'm gonna have to do some cutting videos so that we can have some fun videos up on the channel and it'll be fine they're gonna be hard to cut but they'll be fine they still have nice long cure ahead of them so I'll give you a little look a little breakdown so here are some samples that I did not have room for so we have whoa the whole shelf is moving I guess it's not locked okay so this is the beach type and we have one beautiful soap there of course the color is off over here in the corner but that is quite a beautiful bar that's my summer beaches is what I call it and this is a very wild batch of tropical tango <laughs> it's a little it's a little out there and we have pineapple and jasmine here these are just the ends of the bars I'm not gonna handle everything because I don't have my gloves on we have the Caribbean cocktail, looking so pretty. Banana coconut. Let's see, this one is a Hawaiian ginger type. I think we're gonna call it Hawaiian something. I don't remember what I went with. We have a coconut milk. Let's see, this is coconut cream and aloe juice, it's non-scented. Margarita lime, which, come on now, that's pretty much one of my favorite soaps ever. We have some sea salt soaps. These are the sea mist ones. You've seen a lot of this stuff on face or Instagram, Facebook too, but some Instagram. And then this is the boy. I am just really drawing a blank on the names of my stuff at the moment. Let me think. Hold on. Mango milk. <laughs> That's it. Mango milk. Uh, those are salt soaps also. So. There we go. And then I still have these down here. I had a video, whoa, of the coffee and the lemon poppy seed. They both smell amazing. The coffee is basically the best one I have ever made. I love it. So swinging around, this is where I do most of my wax making. So I have just a Presto pot. It's way too small, but I just keep it filled as I go and I can move right along for the most part. I have some molds my heat gun and then this is where I weigh out all of my soaping stuff so I have all my scales and my little hot plate doodad and I was just working on a little project over here on Sunday fun now one of the things is that you don't store stuff on the floor so if you see me with buckets like this the bottom bucket is empty I'm just using it to raise up my oils this is the main soaping area just the main zone I have a cute little refrigerator and then just my regular countertop and everything I make bath bombs over on this table and then this is where I do film right here I've got my rails that my husband put up and my light situation very nice. 
So, in all my videos, I'm standing right here. Just, this is my view. It's quite a nice one though. I noticed this table, do you see these lines? The poor thing's getting worn out, so I'm gonna have to trade out this table here soon. I try to have stations for everything. So, one thing you may notice is that I don't have any trim work done. That is still just, I've been in this space five years. We moved in five years ago, actually yesterday, and bought it, didn't move in, but anyway. And then in July of 2016, then we went ahead and painted and fixed up this space up here. There are some older studio videos that you can see. I think it's live. I will double check that it's not private, but um, from the beginning, and then how we got it all set up, and then there's been several since then. But this blue, to me, has worn down quite a bit, and we've never done any of the trim work, so what I may do is repaint the place. So if you have suggestions on what would be like really great for videos, but not totally boring, let me know. So this is where I store all my bath bomb materials and everything. And since I don't make bath bombs a lot, I do rewash and sanitize everything before I get started. It's all clean and sanitized now, but I do it again before I actually make anything. <laughs> and these are the poor, oh my goodness, these are the gnomes that didn't quite make it and I was going to package those up as just like bath bomb powders as a gift. And then I forgot they were here and left them out, so now they're a no-go because they've just been sitting out for all this time, so that's no good. <laughs> so I just have all my supplies over here, and then this is where we set up our boxes to pack. So we have our tissue paper, and this is our, um, this is the, this is the stretchy paper that we use. It just comes in this nice box like so. So that's the view back of this away. I try to go slow for you so I don't nauseate you too badly. And so then most of our product is stored here. It usually ends up all over the place, but because we're a week into the release, we're able to go ahead and get it all consolidated there. I have a bunch of orders pulled. Most of the boxes have been made. My husband did all that on Friday night so I just need to hit the ground running this is one of my favorite shelves so I have my soap cutters on top have all my colorants and then we do have some packaging materials just taking up residence there just for now this is where I'm just always standing and getting your orders out to you look at this one that has a lot of bath bombs so fun and I've got my soap samples here. And we've got some wax samples there. And then, like I said, just a bunch of orders are prepped. This is directly over our dining room. So I always have to step up. And it is a little bit awkward, a little bit hard on the body sometimes when you're just going back and forth and stepping up and down. This is the only thing in our attic. This is it. We have storage on one side over the garage. We have storage behind us, which I'm just going to cut over to where I'm going. So that little door leads out to the attic on the other third of the house. So it's pretty big space, but it's just all unfinished attic that you can't really get to except for crawl crawling through this hole in the wall. This is all that's here. It's just our separate workspace. Now, over here, swinging around again. This is the dormer with my air conditioner unit. This is where I take pictures and it's kind of dark because of the air conditioner unit. So I have to wait until the light is fairly decent to take pictures. So that's that. All right, so this is where we keep all the product. And it's just handy because he, he my husband, pulls most of the orders and then sets it on the table. So for this release, we have rainbow. Now keep in mind, I'm halfway done with orders and have been packing for a week. We have confetti blossom 
and rainbow mint chip. Can't tell if it's focusing or not. I hope so. Might have to go in the box a little bit more. We have some Sweet Laclean and Sunshine and Rainbows. Both of those are almost gone. I don't think it's focusing very well so anyway here we have a unicorn dreams soap and those are just almost gone we have the unicorn sweet treats clamshells and the bakery bags of the cotton candy ice cream wax we have in this box the zippy and we have the Fruity Loops sea salt soaps. We still have some of the unscented kefir soap and the Calendula coconut cream soap. So here, let's do this. So we have the rainbow. We have confetti blossom. rainbow mint chip which we'll be seeing all of these when I do my pack and chats sweetly clean oops he fell over sunshine and rainbows we have the cotton candy ice cream wax melts we have the fruity loops macarons just so super cute over here we have the huckleberry bath bombs and the gnome bath bombs down here we have rainbow pear bears so cute and then we have some leftover Flannel and amber, some wax melts. Let's see. Flannel and amber. The golden oats. It's just good soap. Got restocked with this release. So we have Berry Bliss, which is my favorite. And what I have downstairs right now. We have round clamshells. And room and linen sprays. And then up here, I'm going to stretch. <laughs> we have more. It's just, it's just good soap. So I'm not sure what that is. Maybe mountain spruce, spring meadow, and the lemon, I think. I can't see up there. I'm just stretching. So I have more orders pulled here. Most of those I've been set, setting aside for pack and chats. So there, yeah, that's it. <laughs> It's been long. How long has this been? 15 minutes. This is a 15 minute header into our packing chat. So anyway, this is just how we operate. This is our organization. It's just me doing pretty much everything. My husband and my son, they help when they can. All right, so I'm gonna move in to the packing chats. Okay, so I've actually spent a good part of the day packing orders at this point. I have shifted everything over into my filming area and have all the pack and chat orders pulled and I am just going to get started. Now, a little information. First of all, I'm Holly and hello, I am the owner here at Missouri River Soap and my customers request to be on video, to have their order packed on video. So this time I think I have 14 requests. I'm gonna try to get through all of them. There's some that are very large. So we're gonna have multiple parts so that the videos aren't super long to upload, etc. If you like to watch them, then I encourage you to do so. But if they're not your thing, it's, it's cool just to skip on past the following pack and chats. Let's get started. Okay, so this first one is going to Jennifer and it's staying here in Missouri. So that's fun. Thank you for your order, Jennifer. We have a rainbow mint chip soap. Love how it one turned out. I'm pretty sure this is all gonna fit, but now I'm not certain. <laughs> Let's see, we'll try it. We have a zippy and how this one got its name is that my husband 
took a sniff of it. I said, well, what do you think of this scent? And he took a sniff of it and he said, whoa, that's zippy. <laughs> so that's how it got its name. We have Unicorn Dream Soap. And I had filmed just a little bit of like um, the pouring part of Unicorn Dreams, but it, it was not in focus, so that did end up working out. We have Confetti Blossom. And then we have the Straight Up Rainbow. I know I'm getting a shadow sometimes. It's actually the microphone doodad that I have on there, so figured that out. I'm going to put this kind of off to the side. Up, upright. I think, hmm, maybe what we'll do is, oh, it's going now. We'll do this. And we have a Spring Meadow, the It's Just Good Soap. These are no fuss, no fancy. It's Just Good Soap. That's your budget line soap. Uh, the budget collection, I guess. And then we have the Rainbow Pear Bears. Super cute. Put that there. It's looking good. I'm going to put this Berry Bliss sample. I thought I had gotten something else also. I was going to put in a Sunshine and Rainbows. And then the Berry Bliss is just kind of extra because we had the Spring Meadow. It's just good soap one there. So I'm just going to tuck a little bit of my shred here. So I thought I was being super clever. I think it's thundering out there now. So I got some pink, kind of like an ivory. So I was, the ivory was supposed to be the yellow substitution. And I kind of decided to skip orange. And then, so I bought this selection of color, thinking that was going to be my rainbow, which actually it's quite beautiful, isn't it? Mixed with the craft. But it turns out it's not super rainbow <laughs> after all. But we're using it. I think it's still really pretty. I do not know why I went with the pistachio other than it just looked so pretty and I couldn't resist it. It was just a whole mood. So that's why we went with the colors this time. And then I'm going to put in a cotton candy ice cream little sample. So there we go. So I have the invoice, which I've checked off already, and my business card. Oops. I got, um, rounded corners and pearl eyes this time. It's kind of pretty. I really like it. So that's fun. And then this one will be off to Jennifer. What I'm going to go do is make note of what samples I put in and I will weigh it, print its shipping label, and then come back for the next order. to adjust my camera just a little bit because I was finding that I was working too much over here and that was hard on my belly. So I am going to start this one for Angelica and this is going to Florida and it's on the west coast. I used to live in Port Charlotte so that's just a little way south of where this one is headed. So I put a little shred in here because it does help to insulate it. So we're going to see if this is all going to fit in here. Sometimes things do not fit as well as one would think it would. So we have two of the Fruity Loops macarons. Love these things. So good. Yeah, that'll work there. And then we have the Unicorn Sweet Treats Clamshell. So colorful. I spent so much time trying to figure out where I wanted to start these. And so I was thinking, you know, like this. This is how we look at it. And then it was pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. But now I'm thinking that I would have liked it to do it like this. Pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So we'll see. I can change it next time. 
We got the rainbow pear bears. Oh my gosh, these things are just too cute. Too cute. Everybody, well, not everybody, but the north and such. My goodness, you guys have been hot. My friend in Pennsylvania has been telling me about oh, this 90s, and my goodness, it's not supposed to be like that. So hopefully everyone will cool down a little bit. We've been pretty mild here in Missouri, just humid, humid and rainy, like 80 to 80 to 85. But for the most part, it hasn't been miserable. Okay, so I put in a cotton candy and then a little watermelon wax melt sample. Invoice, business card. Now I am having to run the air conditioner because it is that time of the year. So I've turned the fan down and everything to make it as quiet as possible, but I'm afraid the temperature is rising up here. I usually work with one of my dehumidifiers on and the air conditioner on full blast. That's just that is just what it takes to work up here in Missouri when it's humid and warm. Right outside this room. So if today is probably 75 to 80, outside this room is probably 90 to 95. So it is just a little bit warm. This order is headed to Alicia in Indiana. Thank you for your order, Alicia. And thank you to Angelica, because I don't think I said an thank you to you also in the last little part. So I am going to put in this cotton candy ice cream bakery bag. Now these turned out just a little bit darker and some of the batches did end up a little bit darker because I mixed my color a little bit darker and I decided they weren't my favorite. So bakery bags they became. We have some clamshells, French Quarter Bakery, and apple cider donut. Now let me tell you, <laughs> I got a little stressed this week that I made the apple cider donut. I found myself craving comforting scents, and so I made apple cider donut, hometown Christmas, no angel. What else did I make? Caramel apple. I feel like there was one more thing. But I can't think of it at the moment. But I just needed, let's see, oh, let's put him on his side. There we go. Oh, I was just craving some comforting fallish and Christmassy scents. So check out the clamshell department if, if you too would like some scents like that. Oh, goodness gracious. So let's see what else we've got here. We have the unicorn sweet treats. Let's put him a little bit sideways. There we go. And we have the Fruity Loops wax melt macarons. Now I do usually get the question, what is a wax melt? Well, wax melts are just for home fragrance. And you put them into a wax warmer I don't think I've got one close by to show you, but it's just like electric wax warmer. I like the plate ones myself, and you just put the wax in. Some people would cut this in half. Some would put one whole piece in, and it just melts and releases fragrance. So it's like a candle without the flame, but you do have to have the wax warmer to use them. So we have a sunshine and rainbows. Classic, classic, classic soap there and Sweetly Clean, also a classic. A lot of these rainbow soaps that I make, I've been making since this uh, whole shebang started back in Kansas City, Missouri. So that's fun. I just love rainbows, guys. I love rainbows all the time. I think in rainbows. Now, that's not true. There are short, there are small periods of my life where I am not a big fan of the rainbows, but it's usually after one of these releases. So I'm going to put in a unicorn dreams and a cute little pear bear that play 
a play on Care Bear if you hadn't figured that one out yet. So we're just going to make up that space right there. And I'm just putting this on top to cover the window. Alright, so that looks good. This is going to be the last one I think for this video because I don't want this one to be too terrible long. It probably already is. And then, quick mention. I apologize for the shakiness on the tour. I just proofed it and I don't know if it's the camera or if my coffee had gotten to me first thing this morning or what. But it's a little shaky and it's a little awkward. But I have seen other people using that um, the same camera, the Sony um, ZV-1 and it's shaky so I don't know how I like that about it. But either way that's the story. So this order is going to get all taped up and it's headed to Indiana. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to start filming Pack and Chat Part 2 so keep your eye out for it. Bye.